The incredibly iconic Nissan GTR R34. This particular model is based off a of Paul Walker skyline from the movie Too Fast Too Furious. This model keeps really faithful to the original which was awesome to see, including some really neat details like boost gauges and NOS bottles, and some not so good details, but we'll take a look at that later. This set comes in two pouches, a car base plate, and a pretty loaded up sticker sheet. It also comes with a Paul Walker minifigure. No complaints here, other than the pants lacking any kind of detail. As I was going through the build I started to notice these really cool details, like these mud guards. The rear mud guards have a decal printed on them. You do have to make sure you put them on the correct side. Another really quirky thing that I come across was this. This blue brick fitting into the grey brick. At first, I was really unsure why, but I never really figured out why. I guess it's just one of those things that designers wanted to do. One design choice that I'm glad that they stuck with was having the offset lights. And this included putting shrouds over these little studs. One thing I could have really done without was the stickers. I just, I don't like putting stickers on anything. And I'm terrible at it. This set comes with a lot of extra little details. Like these NOS tanks, the steering wheel with a clear block under it, and this printed on seat design. A lot of the dash space also has stickers on it, so you've got your boost gauges and whatnot. So they did actually take time and effort to make the interior, not just a bit of a blank canvas. The grill came out awesome as well. The stickering and this pre-printed block made it just that much better. Although I did miss a sticker initially. Unlike the Lamborghini Countach, this one actually comes with hubcaps. So I was pretty impressed that they weren't stickers. They actually come out real nice. All in all, pretty good look. In total, there's about 22 stickers on this thing, which is something I really didn't like. Something else that I'm going to probably modify and improve is the hood space. It has far too many studs. Lego tend to leave these studs there just as a way of identifying more readily that it's Lego, but it would really benefit from a bit more of a reduction in that stud count. The skirts also suffer from this problem, and it wouldn't be helped with adding flat plates either, because it would actually mean that they would be contacting the ground. Now what did I think overall? This was really fun to put together, especially the front end and the back end. The way that they clipped into the car was really, really quite satisfying. I've only built one other Speed Champions, which was the Lamborghini Countach, and I think I like this one better. The issues that I raised earlier are issues that could really easily be fixed with some modifications, so I'm not concerned about those. This one is a definite must buy. I'll certainly be picking up more of these. I can see this being a really cool modifiable kit that you can have a couple of different versions of the same skyline on display. I will admit, I may be a little bit biased here though. This was one of my favourite cars growing up. From one of the three good Fast and the Furious movies. I'm keen to know what you think. Will you be picking a couple of these up or will you be giving this a skip entirely? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.